While you all geeked out and paused the new Star Wars trailer for clues, you probably missed the origami insect robot, new feats of amazingness for the paralyzed, and the FAA cutting the drone party short. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where watching a fisherman hook a drone in one vengeful cast will never get old. That's amazing. Google X is well on its way to making package delivery by drone a reality, as you can see in this test video just posted on Twitter by a Silicon Valley venture capitalist. We're generally pro drone around here and even try our hand at leading them around occasionally, but not everyone is a fan. Okay, see what I'm talking about. Get out of here. There have been allegations of drones interfering with emergency response operations and general complaints about dangerous piloting, like this news clip from NYC. But the drone crash landed just feet away from him as he was walking home Monday near Grand Central Station. A new task force will announce registration guidelines before the holiday season, and the free fun party in the sky is on last call. If you want to settle a disagreement with a little kid, but don't want to deal with all the Child Protective Services paperwork that comes with taking it to the octagon, just take it to the robot arena. Some assembly required. Kamigami is an origami-inspired insect robot Kickstarter toy for kids teaching them robots and engineering. The kits come with laser-cut body components, a motor, transmission, rechargeable battery, and things like plug-and-play sensors. Or you could teach them how to fold these guys. Pick a number. Seven. Okay. It says you will never learn to code and die alone in your parents' basement. Oh. Yeah. If you remember the paralyzed dude who was able to walk on his own after doctors electronically bridged the gap in his spinal column, we have a cool update. Now, doctors at Ohio's Case Western Reserve University did the same thing to a patient's arms. An array of sensors pick up brain waves from the patient's motor cortex and send them to a brain control interface that converts the waves into actionable electrical signals. From there, the signal is wirelessly transmitted to actuators sewn into the patient's arm, which cause various muscles to contract when stimulated. With it, the patient can finally move his arm. It is a pretty rough movement right now since the patient's arms are so badly atrophied, but the medical team expects improvement once he regains some of his lost strength. Groovy. And finally, finding just the right response GIF will no longer be so damned annoying now that Giphy unveiled its new GIF maker service with the cheesiest awkward video they could possibly make. All you gotta do for to make a, a gift from a video is grab the video's URL. Like this? You bet. So. <laughs> it's so simple. You didn't think so, but it is. Also, they have that dancing Coke can, and I'm hella jealous. Just add a couple of fun tags, uh, like uh, mouse trap or uh, have a horse, or uh, poop poop. That's right. So. I don't think there's anything weirder today, so we'll see you tomorrow.